Today in Fashion Guide, we are going to the biggest open-air party fashion show in the country's capital, the Nomad Fashion Astana. We will visit the Grand Opera Ball with the Miss Universe, Paulina Vega Diepa. And we'll see the shows from Chanel and Dior at Paris Fashion Week, Art Couture. Traditional folk fashion isn't just a trend. It's an entire chapter in Kazakh fashion book. Eight designers at a time released collections based on nomadic people's costumes. Their fashion show was called Nomad Fashion Astana and was devoted to the capital. The country's most known producer, Bayan Yesentayeva. I saw many designers appearing in Kazakhstan every day. It is related to all spheres, in my opinion. I believe that our country has everything it takes to develop in the fashion industry. Our designers feel good in such ambiances. Because our clients are ready to buy Kazakhstan-made products and support the local designers, and I am the one who supports a Kazakh brand. Kazakh ornaments, traditional headwear, and felt are trademarks of Aya Bapani. She uses them in almost all of her work. That's why a show with nomadic themes in an ideal place to show her fantasy. But still, the designer made her summer collection of silk and embroidered fabrics. We were inspired by fine arts and colors of our great steppe. My models in this collection remind me flowers in the steppe, like tulips or poppies that we bloom in the steppes. You will see today it's a colored silk. They trembled with the wind like tender tulips and poppies. For the designer, Nail Baikuchukov, the use of Central Asian ornaments, models, is not customary. It's most often that he uses sparkles to decorate his luxurious dresses. For this time, the evening gown guru made a special collection with traditional ornaments. Jackets from Asem Nursitova supplemented the image. The designer shared his future plans. In one month's time, we will release a wedding collection. It's going to be a bomb. It's the most luxurious wedding. All is handmade. It's dresses that no one has ever seen before. Many brides complain that they cannot find anything interesting in their salons. We are going to make unique dresses that will not appear in stores. The fashion show was alternating with performances of the Kazakh stars, who are the most loyal customers of our designers themselves. The fashion show's special guest, a Russian courtier, Igor Gulaev, who originally comes from the Kazakh town of Satpayev, highly praised for his colleague's collection and made a declaration of his love to Kazakhstan's aficionados. I am really happy to see my clothes on Kazakh stars and just regular people. I am happy when people from Kazakhstan come to my Moscow boutique and my St. Petersburg fashion house and order wedding gowns, dresses and tell me they want to have something from their home. Igol, Kasimova, and Aida, Kaminova, brands Kafiz Khan and Atelier Arunaz, design took part in the Nomad Fashion Astana. This was the first big show entirely devoted to traditional fashion, which provided once again the Kazakhstan history and is a bottomless source of inspiration for design. The traditional opera ball is probably the country's most important dance and musical event and the summer's most anticipated red carpet. Showbiz stars, politicians, prominent sportsmen and businessmen are all here, all glamorous, all chic and dazzling. Celebrities frequent red carpets quite often, but our real ball in 21st century is not an ordinary event either. The guests and participants must look not just beautiful, they have to observe a strict dress code. The fashion guide learned a thing or two about how you should get prepared for a ball. The fashion buyer, Lilia Rak, chose an art couture dress, of course. I took my time to think and to choose and decided to go for the Marchese Couture. I adore this dress. By the way, if you like it, you may easily repeat it. The Kazakh style icon proclaimed that you can show up at a social function in one dress for several times, say with two, three years intervals. Alexander McQueen always told that the real haute couture dress lives just for three times. The first time, say in Los Angeles at the Academy Awards ceremony, the other at your house, and the third one in some European country. 
In fact, the haute couture dress is a history. It will never become obsolete. You have to wear it, and you will always impress people. The main protagonist of the seventh opera ball are debutantes, but not only them. Young opera singers, contestants of the International Opera Ball Award were shining on the stage. The Kazakh contestant, Oksana Davidenko, sang the Cinderella's Rondé from the Rossini's opera in a magnificent Tiffany dress, though the shoes seemed a bit irrelevant. You know, I have very simple shoes. When I sing, I have to feel grounded. That's why I don't wear high heels when I sing. Who wore the most beautiful dress of the evening? Naturally, it was the hostess of the ball, Miss Universe 2014, Paulina Vega. The planet's first beauty told the media that it was her first ball ever and that she had to be very picky when choosing her dress for such an important event. So the dress is very elegant, it's very classic, it's black, um, I have a beautiful gloves, I never wore gloves before. I'm going to have a, a hairstyle that goes very well with my Miss Universe crown and I don't know, it's very tight, I really like, like the cut of the dress and at the end has like a fluffy things that I've never used, so it's going to be interesting. Meet another crowned beauty of the ball, Miss Kazakhstan's Regina Vandesheva. She wore a pure white dress at the evening and she was the honorary debutante. This important mission requires observance of a dress code of its own. Snow white puffy dress, elbow long gloves are a must, diadem. I put on my Miss Kazakhstan crown as an honorary debutante. Over 50 debutantes couples danced the Vienna Waltz. Tripled the quadrille away and laid figures of the classic Polynesia. Squires get ready for the ball with the same favor as their dames. Honorary debutant Diaz Abliev told that it, he took time to find his look as thoroughly as he was learning to dance four months before the ball. You have to wear a tailcoat with a black belt, not white. White bow tie, everything else is selected with utmost attention to detail. Last year people were in the white bow ties, this year you have to wear black. So everyone dances and everyone's wearing a nice dress. We were helped by Dinara Kasim's atelier. We asked her to help us. We had this idea to make a butterfly dresses because the kids are so small. Red and black dresses always tops the chart of all parties. Red carpets and ceremonies everywhere. Still glaring, sexuality and luxury weren't the faves of the evening. It's where the femininity and tenderness that reigned. Light colors, airiness and featheriness were in trend. And what else do you need for a warm summer evening? Red carpets, festivals, and award ceremonies. These are the events that the fashion house and the best designers work for, creating exclusive haute couture dresses. And though only a handful of people can afford them, such collections are worth your attention. In Paris, during the high fashion week of fall, winter 2015 and 2016, Karl Lagerfeld transformed the Grand Palace into a casino. At gambling tables, he gathered celebrities, actresses Kristen Stewart and Julianne Moore, and singers Rita Ora and Vanessa Paradis with daughter Lily Rose Depp. Karl Lagerfeld found a way to make their fame work for the Chanel brand, but it was a win-win situation for everyone. I like the idea when people dress to go to him. Now they don't dress anymore. And Chanel wanted me to do something for the jewelry. So I thought it was fun to make special dresses for actresses like Julian Moore and, and uh, Kirsten Stewart and all the and young actresses and things like this, who had dresses made for them with pieces of the Chanel jewelry collection, totally unrelated to the collection. That's why the collection is very graphic and things like this. And these are really dresses made for the people. Both the location and the dresses look amazing. Iconic Chanel jackets and skirts were partially printed on 3D printers. Fabrics and embroidery were put on a printed out frame. The key elements of the show, two wide shoulders with epaulette high wire collars, lots of sparkles, feathers, fringes, and voluminous silhouettes. The Ralph Simmons collection was anticipated with a special interest. In spring, fashion critics brushed off his show, but the public believes in the Belgian who has had the famous fashion house for three years now. 
This time, the designer used some deconstructive elements in the classic Dior raincoats and attached a first leaf to some of them, with cloaks seemingly devoted to knights. A silk slim fit coat is tribute to the Dior's famous postwear feminine silhouette. The most memorable accessory, sleeveless blouses ornated with stones or completely made of metal. The models were stuck in them like golden cages, but since it is Dior, many wouldn't mind to be caged.